Today we're gonna play Mod the Spire. So I, you guys, I don't know if you guys saw the um, my latest YouTube video, but we just we just did the witch. So today, right now, we're gonna do the Mad Scientist, but on YouTube. I'm sorry, Twitch exclusive. We'll, we'll put it to YouTube after, but right now, Mad Scientist is gonna be first look on Twitch. So here we go. We did the last witch run. YouTube exclusive. Just just uploaded it right now. We're gonna do the Mad Scientist. We're gonna do it on Twitch. And this one I hear is a little bit different. We have to be have smaller decks. Now, unfortunately, I have a, t a witch run that I left on a cliffhanger, and I want to finish it. So we're going to finish this cliffhanger of a witch run, and then we're going to do the Mad Scientist. So let's finish the witch, do the Mad Scientist. Now, if you guys haven't seen the video, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but the witch for now is, is really cool to me, guys. It's really cool to me. And this thing is called Twitch. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? I wonder why they called it that. When drawn, gain 2 dexterity for one turn, gain 14 block. Now that's kind of crazy. When you draw it, you gain 2 dexterity for a turn, and then you gain 14 block. I mean... Wow. Okay, so there's also Wild Purgus Knight. Shuffle all exo uh, your exhausted non-status, non-ethereal cards into your draw pile, then drop... So this is the card I was talking about, guys. All my exhausted non-status, non-ethereal cards into my draw pile, then draw one of those. So let me explain. Right now I have a card that is called Athame. A theme says, deal 11 damage. If this kills the enemy, increase the chance of receiving rare cards by 20% and then exhaust it. But, with this, I can get it back and use a theme again and increase my chance to get a rare card by 40%. Now, ideally, I want to try to get this to 100%, but 40% is a pretty good start. Obviously, Twitch is really good. And Illusory Strength is gain 4 strength. Shuffle a Delusion of Strength into your draw pile. Delusion of Strength reduces your strength at the end of the turn while in hand. So this is kind of like bias cognition, but with strength. So imagine, bias cognition, instead of focus, we get strength. Interesting, but you know what? Because we have a fame, I'm going to go for this. Even though it's not the best option, we're going to try it out. Woo! Riddick Pyramid, Tiny House. You know, I, I'm going to go out and rescue her. So Calling Bell, this girl, whenever you get a curse, you gain energy, right? This gives you three curses, three relics. So right off there, we're, that's a good synergy. There's also things that when you get rid of curses, let me explain, like, uh... I don't have it here, but there's ways to cleanse cur curses and get, like, draw from it, right? So we're definitely taking this. Uh, Twitch tells you have great quality, you should mess with the videos. Ah, I see Grunchy Dance. I'll, tr I'll, tr I'll try to do it so that I don't downscale the, the videos, because I want YouTube to have good quality, too, but, um... I mean, I already try, try to export it at 720 at a good quality, but maybe I'll take a look at what you're seeing. But maybe I'll see how I can fix that. So, like I said, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and calling bell. Quite nice center. Whoa! I forgot to mention, this girl has new curses. So, there's a thing called Eternal Thirst, right? Which, uh, it's unplayable, but there's an ability called Cleanse. This card is Cleanse if the condition is satisfied, and once you cleanse it, you can use this card for one energy, right? And so, if I cleanse it, I get... This becomes an attack that costs one that deals 10 damage, then heal for the unblocked damage dealt. So I, in order to cleanse it, in order to get this playable, I have to suffer at least 20 damage in this fight. So if I take at least 20 damage in a fight, this becomes cleansed. Now I can play this to attack that does 10 damage and heals me for unblocked damage dealt. This is very interesting. Very, very good. So one of the things you can note about the witch is that Calling Bell is much better because she has curses that are beneficial. Now we have Upon pick Toy Horse. Upon Pickup, choose a basic card of any character to add to your deck. Whoa! You can choose a basic card of any character to add to your deck. A basic card of any character to add to your deck. What? So we could add another zombie spit, which I love decrepit. We can add a zap, which is interesting. A bash. A survivor. A dual cast. Or hide behind junk. Gain six block. Shuffle a random trinket into your draw pile. What the hell are trinkets? Trinkets are zero cost cards that exhaust. Interesting. I'm gonna do zombie spit. Molten egg. Whenever you add a tech, I should have clicked molten egg first. I would have had an upgrade to zombie spit. That, can I redo this? We're redoing it. Save and quit, boys. Save and quit. No one saw a thing. Calling bell. Yes. Multinic. Let's do this again. Oh, Zombie spit. Shit. Pet cage. Add a random familiar oh, in your hand at the beginning of your turn. Oh, Cipria Bonobo. Thanks for the tier one. Two months in a row. Pre special for a welcome back, dude. Yeah, it does look awesome, dude. The witch is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I want, you, I want to show you guys. So right now what we have is this a fame thing going on, which is increasing our chance of rare cards. So right now what we're going to try to do is play this, bring it back to life with this, and then kill again with this, and get 40% to get it rare. But aside from that, we're doing a thing called Schadenfreude, which whenever you apply a debuff, gain two block. There's cards like this. Apply three weak and three vulnerable to all enemies. Draw a card for one mana. 
So not only is it doing three weak, three vulnerable to all enemies and drawing a card for one mana, it's also blind block for both of those things. So that's four block, for two block for each debuff, and if I hit multiple enemies, I'm getting a lot of block. Then there is something else where if you draw it, you just gain... I didn't take it. I also have this thing, Fatal Ray. Can only be played if you have at least seven cards in your hand to do a 25 damage. Now, that's kind of hard to get unless you have good card draw, or you have these things called retain, like this. This retains means you don't, if you don't play it, it stays in your hand. And I have this. If you don't play it, it stays in your hand. So if I retain this and retain that, and then draw this, we can get a lot of damage. So you guys will see there's a lot of different things going on. Let's go out against a battle. Um, one, two. Let's go for elites. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Retain's a very interesting concept. Very, very interesting. So, like, if I don't touch this, this is going to retain. Now, right now, the reason why I got this Raven is because I'm getting a random familiar at the beginning of your turn. Now, familiars are these little animals. They all have different effects, and they all have different kind of concepts. So this is the Raven. You upgrade a card in your hand and reduce this cost by one for the rest of combat. So this is kind of good because I could do Raven on the Mortis Claw. So it's going to be two always for the rest of the combat, and it's also doing 17 damage, and then they lose 17 damage. 17 HP, so it goes through block. Insane. But right now what we want to do is shout in Freude, right? And then apply weak. Now, by applying the weak and the vulnerable, I gain four block, right? Now, what I want you guys to notice is... Oh, by the way, I drew a curse. Because I drew that curse, I got energy from Black Cat. This sees shuffle a random curse into your deck at the beginning of each fight. Gain energy whenever you draw a curse. So I, might, I was going to take damage, but then I drew the curse, and now I can play defense. Now, I want, to show, I want to show you guys... Um, Sorry, I'm going crazy with this, but I just want you guys to explain this. I don't, I'm okay with taking damage because I do have this, Eternal Thirst. So if I take 20 damage, I can start healing up. Um, what you'll notice, though, is that I got a random familiar. I retained this and then drew five cards. So if I, if I do get the um, Fatal Ray, I could play it for 25 damage. Now what I'm going to do is retain the Salt Circle, retain this. And um, so this is also an interesting card. If you have zero block, gain nine block. Otherwise, deal nine damage. So right now I can play this for 9 block, and then I can do things like this, apply 2 poison, apply 2 decrepit, which by the way, is going to give me block as well. Now I want to show you guys decrepit. So decrepit is really interesting to me. I'm sure if you guys saw the video, you guys know what decrepit is doing. So decrepit is basically a stack that keeps lowering. Like it lowers like poison would lower, but it takes, decrepit means that this person takes m one more damage from every attack based on how many decrepit stacks they have. So let's say they have 5 decrepit stacks. Every attacks and do five more damage, and then there's cards like cats that do, I believe, like two times three damage, and they're ethereal and they exhaust, and you get them every turn. But with decrepit stacks, that potentially becomes four times three, five times three, eight times three. It gets it gets crazy. And then there's a relic that makes it so that they never lose decrepit stacks, and they never lose their vulnerable and weak stacks. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Um, I think it's about time we do Mortis Claw, right? 38 damage. We got this, apply one weak, reduce strength by two for, uh, for one. So this giving me block twice because of Shadow and Freude, which I should have upgraded, by the way. And then um, I can play a defense. Why not? Now, there's interesting things like this, like uh, moon, moon Chosen, gain one artifact when, you're when, when you begin your turn, if you have none. So this person has artifacts that they gain. A lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, draw two cards, exhaust. So if I draw into curses, then I'm going to get energy back. So I do see that there's a curse here. So I'm going to play this, get energy back. Now there's this thing called harmlessness. When, if you place three skills in, uh, in this turn, you cleanse this. And when you cleanse it, you can, this becomes an attack that does five damage to a random enemy five times. So it's five times five. Pretty crazy. If I have decrepit, it's getting even crazier. And what if you notice? I have two decrepit things in my hand. And we don't have enough skills to play this, unfortunately. But we can play Fatal Ray. Mm. Let's do this. We could do... Hex card for block. Zombie spit, zombie spit. Now... Do Milady. Milady. Milady! What's nice about Milady, guys, I want you guys to see this. So Milady does six, 9 damage and 2 rot. Now rot is something that you apply to a creature, and they lose that many HP per turn per stack, right? So it, it loses 2 HP, 
at the start of the turn. Rot keeps increasing every turn by one, by itself. You don't touch it. it basically, it's a slow way to scale up. Once you play it, they're going to keep scaling up on Rot. I mean, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's broken, in my opinion. It is nuts. <laughs> so, what I want you guys to see is this, though. Boom. Boom. Now, if I kill this guy, I get 20% chance to get more rares. So, ideally, I want to kill him. But then, unfortunately, unfortunately, my uh, cat familiar is doing too much damage. Rip. Ah, uh, fuck me. I forgot this is doing way too much damage. Alright. We're going to try to kill it just to get more rare chance. He's going to die to rot anyways, right? I'm trying to be careful here just because I do want to kill him with a fame, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait. It's worth it to wait. He's gonna die next turn to rot, so if I don't draw it, then it's, I'm flipped. Yeah, I didn't draw it. Maybe I can draw it now. Nah. Okay. Oh well. Twisted Mind. Okay, so Bleed Out is all enemies lose 7 health and it's 0. 0 on AoE that does 7 damage. It's crazy. Now, if you have Decrepit on top of that, even more damage. Uh, Twisted Mind, when you play the first card each turn, all enemies lose health equal to the cost of that card. AoE damage continually. Kind of interesting. Black Shield, gain 7 block. Double the V of at least a curse in your hand. So, potentially this is going to be 14 block for 1. If you upgrade it, as 18 block for 1. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, right? Um, which I think might be useful, just to have that, right? Just to have that. Yeah, so because this is a modded class, you can... So, by the way, Hex Guard is... One of her basic cards is starts off with this. Starts off with this. Gain 12 block and one artifact for a turn. So I gain artifacts very conveniently to stop this. It's a very good draw for me. Uh, we have two Decrepit, two Poison. Very nice. Got a Strike. God defense. Uh, so you gotta install mod the spire. So uh, if you go S uh, exclamation point STS mods, you have to install the base mod and mod the spire. And from there, you just drag and drop into mod folders. More decrepit, more poison. That's, so what's nice about the theme is that if it only if it kills, does it exhaust? But you can still do 14 damage for one. Still very good value. And then Milady is just Milady. She's my lady. 500 bits for Vashiri. Thank you for the 500 bits. You're welcome and appreciate the support. Thank you, dude, so much. Would it be too? Yeah. What's it? Here's the thing. It, it is a little OP. Yes, it is a little OP. Um, now the enemies are not buffed. Enemies are not buffed. So this gives me 9 block, this gives me uh, 7 block, and this gives me 5 block. Quite perfect, right? I could draw, and if I draw into a curse, then we get energy back. We got zombie spit, that's fine. I'll do ascension- I'm gonna go do ascension 15 to make this more challenging, but I haven't got ascension yet. But when we get ascension, we'll do ascension 15 just because it's a little- not that challenging. But I want you guys to realize, if I play 3 skills, I can activate this. So let's play this. Let's play this. And boom, it's activated. So now I'm doing 10 damage times 5. Now, what's nice about this is that not only am I doing more damage because of the decrepit stacks, I'm doing more damage because of the vulnerable. So it's like, the decrepit stacks are doing 3 more damage per things, then the vulnerable is multiplying it. I mean, it gets crazy. Like, potentially, look at this. 13 times 5 for 1. It's ridiculous. But it's fun. Okay. Rolling, roiling barrier. Gain 5 block. When drawn, increase... This card's blocked by one, Recurrent. So this is something that Recurrent is affects... When this card is played, it shuffles the draw pile instead of being discarded. So I play this, it goes back into my draw pile. If I play it again, it becomes six. If I play it again, it becomes seven. And it just keeps scaling within the fight. Potentially, oh, if you upgrade it, it gets increased by two. So this becomes insane with an upgrade. Seven, nine, eleven, that's crazy. Living Bomb. Kill an enemy if it has 20 HP or less. If successful, other enemies are dealt 16 damage. So for three mana, if you kill, you do 20 damage. Or less. And if it kills, it does 16 AoE. I don't like it. But with Sneko Eye or something, that could be pretty interesting. Uh, draw two cards, then deal damage equal to the number of cards you have drawn this turn. 
Draw three cards, then deal damage to the number of cards you have drawn this turn. This is basically one mana, draw two cards, and then deal damage on how many cards you draw that turn. So I'm assuming it means you drew five cards in the beginning, and then another two cards. So this is seven damage, draw two cards. You know what? Since we have a lot of curses, this is not bad, because curses give us energy with Black Cat. So getting card draw is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Apparition. So I would say Apparition is pretty broken, right? Because here's what's going to happen. You play the Apparitions, you stay alive, and then you just start winning with other things. But you know what? I'm not going to do it. We're going to... I already did that in my video today, and Apparitions kind of... You guys will see. We got another Walpurgis Knight. So ideally, I want to do this. A Fame. Kill. Bring it back. Kill. Bring it back. Kill. 60% chance to get a rare. I just want to try it for the, for the memes. For the memes. Unfortunately, there's other stuff that might, might be better. So there's place any number of cards in your hands on top of your draw pile and gain five block for each of them. Bat familiar at the start of your turn. Add a bat to your hand. It's a power. Basically, keep adding bats. More card draw. When drawn, gain four strength for one turn. Deal six damage. So you're gaining strength, four strength for a turn and dealing six damage, which means this becomes ten damage. And it's also since you have four strength, everything else becoming more. That's, this is crazy. Like, the value on this is insane. It's insane. This strike character has like 77 HP. Let's, let's try this. I, I really want, for the memes, I really want to try, let's do more card draw. For the memes, I really want to try a fame three times in a fight to get a 60% chance of rare. We can make this always free. Oh wait, it's impossible to do it here because you need to have three enemies. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. That's 14 block. Um, we can upgrade Mortis. We can do a... Um, we, can do s we can draw two. Wow, that's a nice sound effect. More block. Should have done that first. Yeah, well, there's another thing that's really bonkers that I'll show you. It's... um. I can do this, Fatal Ray. Boom. So Rat is also doing debuffs now. Again, we're taking a lot of damage, but there's a thing that we have that does healing based on how much damage we take. Rather, it does healing if you take damage, so it's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do my lady. And that. And now let's get Harmlessness into effect. And Mortis Claw is still going to be lethal, but I want to kill with the Fame. Ideally. This thing... I want you guys to see the toad. The toad removes, so it reduces your vulnerable fray on weak by one. Like, that's an interesting concept. It's a little broken, but it's interesting. There's two things I want to do. I want to either get the cleanse. I want either want to kill it with the theme to get the increased chance of rare, or get the cleanse to get my life back. So this is the one that gives me my life back. And then I could do this to get increased chance of rare. So I have 20% chance to get rare. Didn't get it, but it was interesting. Uh, deal 6 damage 2 times, gain 6 blocks. So this is crazy. Basically, with a Decrepit and all the other things, this potentially becomes like a glass knife. And it giving you 6 blocks at the same time. This is doing AoE 7 for 0. This is doing 10 block per chain. I think we're just going to go for the block, although... I don't mind something like this with the amount of, I have two things of decrepit, so with this plus this, we're probably doing crazy damage with this. So I'm, I'm gonna take it. Let's go for an elite. Shout and Freud it. So we get, for every debuff, we get uh, two blocks. So we got block here. This is gonna upgrade the black shield, and when I play it, I'm getting 18 blocks because I have a curse. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, this guy's is broken. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that. Apply one weak. Let's uh, apply this weak to this guy. Normality's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, so it's broken, but it's fun. So Fatal Ray can't be happening just yet, but we can make Fatal Ray happen by doing this. Wretched Nails, Fatal Ray. And then a Fame to get... Increase chance at rare. We'll use energy pie here. 
and we'll do this and that. Beautiful. No, I just did a video on the wi the, the witch. This is my second thing on the witch. So I sh shuffle all non-status non-ethereal cards into your draw pile and then draw one of those cards. So anything that's not ethereal. So I'm going to draw basically a Thame again. Or I'll put it back into my draw pile. And I drew it. So let's do this with that and that. Beautiful. It's a mod. It's a mod. What's up, Solan? I ideally want to draw. I want to draw a Thame again. There it is. So a Thame. Now we're going to have 40% chance to get increased rare. And I want to play Wall Purgus. But I won't be able to kill him. So. Let's do this. I should play Wall Purgus first so I don't get Raven back. Oh no, Raven does get rid of itself. Okay. I'm trying to get a theme. I want to get 60% chance to get rare. Oh, did I get rid of Wall Purgus? Oh, I can't. I can't get it anymore. Because Wall Purgus. Uh... No, I still have it. I can still draw into it. Where is it? I don't want to kill him. It's taking a long time. A thing, where you at? This is this is silent in her awkward years. Shit, this is a struggle right now. We get wing one artifact per turn. That's crazy. I'm waiting for wall purgus basically. It's gonna be worth it, guys. We're gonna get sixty percent chance at rare. All right. 60% chance at rare. Boom. If I don't get a rare for 60% chance, then... Oh, there it is. We got another wall purgus. I mean, that's not really what we want to see. But at least we got the rare. Deal 5 damage. All de So this is like claw, guys. Deal 5 damage. All demon fire cards deal 2 additional damage this combat. Now, the effect that this has is called recurrent. When this card is played, it's shuffled into your draw pile instead of being discarded. So it's a 1 mana... And he scales up by two every time you play it. And instead of going to discard, it goes back to your draw pile. Interesting. <laughs> I'd rather do Skull Flash, though. Because we have Pendib and stuff like that. And then draw three of those cards. Whoa! Shouting Frode. Let's do that. That's been doing some work for us. So we got the artifacts just like we needed. Cat familiar. So. Beautiful. It's claw, but OP. <laughs> exactly. Game four block. Let's be shouting for day. Oh, I had fatal ray. Whoopsies. My B. My B. A thing. So we got four strength this turn. No. That's okay. We're taking damage, which is fine because. Oh, wait. The strength that you get can be negated by the artifacts. I just realized. That's crazy.
Calibers would be good too. I think Wretched Ness is still better. I think Wretched Ness is very interesting. My lady. My lady. Mortis Claw is doing a crap ton of damage. Yep. Okay. I'm trying to do a thing, but it's getting me killed. There it is. Do it again. 40% chance of rare. There, we got a rare. Retain. Deal 9 damage. If this kills the enemy, obtain a random potion and exhaust this card. So it stays in our hand. Zero cost. Does 9 damage for zero. If it kills, get a potion. I'll try it out. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I actually have to go. So let me just get over here. Bottle tornado on the Shaolin for all we did. I wanted to do the Mad Scientist. But let's keep messing around with the witch for a little bit. Because we did start the witch and I haven't finished the witch. The witch is not dead. The witch is not dead. We're on the witch right now. I want you guys to just take a look. Just take a gander at some of this crazy stuff that's going on. This horse is probably the best thing you're ever going to see. So, upon pickup, choose the basic card of any character to add to your deck. Basically, I was able to pick a basic card from all three characters. And I chose a card from this character. I could have put the deck list up. Yeah, I could have. So right now, we have uh, Schadenfreude. Or should I be German about it? Schadenfreude. Shade and Freud it. I don't know. I'm not very German, but we've got zombie spit which has decrepit We have a theme which I've been using a lot uh, that as well moon chosen harmlessness Mortis claw uh, Zombie spit eternal thirst. We have some interesting stuff. I'm gonna I'm just gonna oh we recently got bowline which I wanted to try um, Deal nine damage if this kills the enemy obtain a random potion and exhaust the card But now we have Walpurgis to bring this back so we can get more potions out of this, which could be could be interesting. Still good, and zero for nine, not bad. This house also has retained, so you just hold on to it until you're ready to use it. Anyways, got Bottle Tornado on the shower and Freud it. Oh, forgot to put it back to Slay the Spire. Here I am on Creative. Show and Slay the Spire to Creative. This guy's decks are so crazy, we gotta put him in Creative section. There's no way. Put him, okay, there we go. What's the cleanse of, so the cleanse of this is, uh, you're going to suffer at least 20 damage in this fight, and then when you do, this becomes an attack that costs 1, deals 10 damage, and then heal for all the unblocked damage. So this becomes a 10 damage 1 mana heal for whatever damage you do. Where are we going? We're going for elites. Was I trying to go for 2 elites? I don't even know the power of my own deck. We're going for 2 elites. We'll see what happens. Well, actually, I did want to see the shop, didn't I? Screw it. We're going for elites. Hello? My game's stuck. Hello? My game is broken, guys. My game is broken. Hello? Oh no. I might have to I might have to abandon this run. The game is broken. No. What are you doing? Proceed. Proceed. Damn it. Try one more time. It's broken. I was excited. What if I just skip the chest? You think, I, you think that's the secret? Oh, I didn't actually want to skip the chest. I didn't want to actually do that. I was just testing. Fuck me. Well, sometimes in life, sometimes in life you have to uh, skip chests to, to carry on. I sh sure. Okay, uh, deal 6 damage, deal an additional 3 damage for each curse drawn in this combat, interesting. Thundercloud, when drawn, apply 1 weak to a random enemy, deal 13 damage to weak enemies. This is interesting. Just by drawing this, you apply weak. I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna skip. There you go, skip a chest. Talking and I, we're getting, we're getting kinda deep with that. Oops, that was a mistake, but it's okay, all good. You see the underbelly of the mods. Sometimes you got to skip the chests. Also, it only exhausts if it kills. So it's always going to be zero damage. Zero, sorry, it's only going to be nine damage for zero. And only when it kills does it exhaust. That's so good, it's ridiculous.
There would be no options for Fisher characters. I don't know. I don't think so. I think the Fisher characters are much more balanced. I think the Fisher characters are much more balanced. So, no, I don't think it's gonna. Oh, this gets doubled. Oh, I think we're dead. Haha, <laughs> we're dead. Would you look at that, my friends? It's quite fitting, isn't it? It's quite fitting, isn't it? Okay, you know, I don't mind that I die. Whatever, I die. It's all good. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the Mad Scientist. So this is gonna be brand new, fresh content. Oh, we also got some unlocks. I wanna see the unlocks at first. Let me see the unlocks. I'll tell you what, guys. If I didn't, uh, skip that chest, the shot in Freud would've saved me. Just saying. We unlocked what? Where's the unlock? Didn't actually unlock anything. Whatever. The Mad Scientist. Okay, so this is my first time trying this. It's Mad Scientist. First time ever. Somebody said that this is uh, quite better than the witch because the witch is a little crazy. And where the witch lacks balance and is overpowered, the Mad Scientist lacks finesse and a little bit more... A little bit more streamlinedness. Apparently. You have to be mad to climb this spire while relying on experimental gadgets and unstable explosives. And he certainly is that. Fuel tank. At the start of each combat, gain two fuel. Two fuel. And, uh... Alright. That's it. That's all I know. We gain two fuel. Whether or not what this fuel means, I have no idea. But it looks damn cool. And he looks pretty cool, too. He is... Uh, yes, I like this guy. Obtain a random rare card. Max HP. Or obtain a random rare relic and lose 50% of your HP. Um, I'm kind of curious. Whoa, let's take a look at this real quick. Powered strike, spend one fuel, de deal 10 damage. So you're using fuel to do things, okay? Gain six blocks, shuffle a random trinket into your draw pile. I like the art, and we're going to have some trinkets. That's going to be interesting. What you notice is that a lot of these cards are very cheap, cost-wise, but I'm assuming fuel is going to kind of Come into play. So let's do a random mirror, but like, Giria. Now, we'll see how good this is. Let's go try to lift, to try to get swole. He's a mad scientist, but, but damn, he's gonna be a, a swole scientist of that, too. Let's go. This path. Love it. Feels like strength, but in a way, but not. Huh. Spend one fuel, attack that guy, and then block, block. My guy looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Hide behind this, gain, uh, get a random trinket. I kind of want to try this trinket. Let's see what we get. Discard, wait, draw two cards. Discard one of them. For zero. Okay. Slay the mods. Draw two cards, discard one. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here, son. Let's get another trinket. I just want to see what the trinkets are. Gain energy, then exhaust. These trinkets are pretty damn cool. Sprocket. Gain one artifact, exhaust. Can be upgraded. What? You can upgrade this to get even more artifacts? How crazy is that? This is a card that can get potentially 10 artifacts. Not sure why we would need that many artifacts, but that's cool. Hey, what's up, Ari Nai? Welcome, man. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the live stream. Apply bomb that deals damage. Three, 15 damage. Three. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. We have a bomb that in three turns will do 15 damage. That's cool. I like that. When draw, draw two cards. When drawn, gain three block. What? Draw two cards for one. And when I draw this, I gain three block. Well, damn. These are all so good. Let's do this one. Remove a card. Let's get gold. Retarget. Lose one strength. Gain two thorns for each attack in your hand. What? That's crazy. I can just keep getting thorns. And then if you have artifacts, by the way, with Sprocket, you don't lose the strength, but you gain the thorns. And you can keep playing this. So you keep getting thorns. You prevent the strength, potentially. The strength loss. This is interesting. Very interesting. Wow. Choose. Deal 6 damage, apply 1 weak, or deal 6 damage, apply 1 vulnerable. Versatile little spear. When you upgrade it, it becomes 9... 
What? That's insane. One mana, you can either do two weak and nine damage or two vulnerable. That's, that's extremely good as a common card. Flamethrower, spend all fuel, deal not, seven damage for each fuel spent. Ten damage, so this could be 20, 20 damage upgraded for two, for one. That's crazy. Whenever you draw a trinket, draw a card. Shuffle two random. What? This is so good too. They're all so good, guys. So what do you guys guys tell me what you guys want to see? Tell me what you guys want to see. Um You guys want to see me do a trinket deck where I, I play around with trinkets, and when I draw trinkets, I get draw a card. Do you guys want to see thorn builds where we do some thorn stuff? Do you guys want to see me do some uh, just straight up damage with fuel? Like a fueling damage stuff. What do you guys want to see? You guys want to see trinkets? Let's try this trinket stuff. Okay, let's try the trinket stuff, and then uh, I guess we can get this as well, but I kind of want the damage. Let's get this damage. Well, this is very flexible. Uh, no pun intended, this is a flexible little card. You want to see the afterlife? Well, I can't provide that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, if you have a fuel, if you have, I'm assuming this can get kind of crazy if you have a lot of fuel, but not for now, it's not that great. I like the spear as well, yeah, I like the spear. I think the spear is pretty... Nice. Let's get the spear. Because we are going to go for an elite, right? We still need the offense. And that's mention, we're going to be lifting. Just a little bit. Okay. Powered strike. Well, you know what? Let's hide behind some junk. Gain one strength. So this drink is just giving me strength. Let's go ahead and make him vulnerable. And then do some damage. Cool, cool, cool. Explore options. Let's do damage. Nah, let's just do this. The thorn bill looks really interesting though. That would have been like, what, six thorns right there? Return the top card from your discard pile in your hand. The top card would be explore options, no? Oh, it's strike. I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Dude, it's almost overwhelming how many cards there are. Trinkets are just little zero-cost stuff that you get from these cards. And they have different effects. Deal 8 damage twice. Cost 1 less for each fuel spent this combat. What? Oh, man. Apply bomb to all enemies that deals 15 damage in 3 turns and again in 6 turns. This is going to be AoE 15 in 3 turns. Thanks for the follow, man. AoE 15 in 3 turns, and then again in 6 turns. But 6 turns is a little... I can't really expect to get that in 6 turns, but... In 3 turns, you can expect that for that to happen. But most of the time, when it's AoE, you want it right now, right? But... Champagne says there's a card that makes it so that... The bombs apply earlier. We'll try this out. Try a bomb out. See what happens. Move a strike. It adds uh, 44 new relics, 35 cards, 8 potions, 4 events, and a boss. That's crazy. So I have not played it, but I have heard of it. I will try it. I will try to replay this guy. Cool. These triggers are interesting. Refuel. Gain 2 fuel. Can be up. Whoa! I didn't know there was going to be a fuel card that you could upgrade many, many times. So fuel seems to be pretty interesting, but we also have another trinket thing, so we can get two card draw for every trinket, but then when you upgrade this, it becomes two trinkets into your draw pile. So this could be... Let's go all out on the trinkets. Enemy loses four strength, they were good. No, let's do this. All out on the trinkets. Cool. I'm taking a little bit of, uh, of damage. I post a lift as well, but I also kind of want to rest. Nah, we're going to keep upgrading. Well, if this is Grumman now, we're probably messed up, huh? Let's upgrade this. This is a pretty good upgrade. Let's go this way. 
Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna skip. We're fine. Does one killing the new boss work? Oh, we got a bomb. This actually works really well. Because in three turns... Yes. That's so good for elites. I didn't realize. That bomb's really nice for the elites. I found that replay is a nice mod to have on even when checking on new characters as it just expands the base relics in nice ways. I'll check it out. Is it time to wake him up or do we wait for the bomb? Let's wake him up. Let's make him weak. So every time I draw a trinket, I'm going to draw two extra cards. So I'm going to have full hands, basically. Gain one fuel? Sure, why not? Let's keep him weakened or keep him vulnerable? Keep him weakened. Gain one artifacts? Huh. Oh, the card draw is insane. I need something that gives me trinkets every single turn. That would be amazing. Oh, I meant to do defense. Whoops. Whoops. What's up, Manak? What is this about mods? Oh, they're basically just a uh, modded character people have created. Let's do, let's do the vulnerable now. Let's start pushing for damage because he's about to get bombed in two turns. Now, I'm not sure if the bomb applies with vulnerable. If so, that would be kind of nice. Let's find out, actually. The bomb's going to apply next turn. So let's see if the bomb works. One sec. Well, I kind of want to weaken him, too. I'd rather weaken him. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, I had lethal, didn't I? I mean, technically, I do still have lethal. No, I had lethal with power strike strike. Whoops. We'll ignore that. The bomb's gonna apply. Cool. Apply one bomb that deals... Whoa, you have trinkets that give you bombs? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, so Manak, it's um, if you do this, Manak, here, I'm sure you've seen this before. You, uh, you, there's a big comprehensive list of mods that people have created, and these mods have been worked on, you know, a decent, decent amount. So you have to download Mod the Spire, and download base mod, and then you can install the mod. And play it, you know, pretty uh, bug free. Right now, you don't know if I'm sure you need to in turn for him to summon the fish. Uh, Arrowheadic offered two cards of rest tides, baseball, on pickle, makes a random card in your deck. Hmm. Whoa! So this becomes really good with refuel, which we didn't pick up. So refuel was the thing that we had the opportunity to take, but we went for the trinket route. So let's look for trinkets. Turn a skill card in your hand into an attack that deals 9 damage in addition to its other effects. Really? So not only does the skill stay the skill, but it does 9 damage as well? Does that mean that it can work around Grumman Knob? Gain 15 block, lose 1 dexterity. I like this. So the dexterity sucks. Losing the dexterity sucks. But that's why you get the thing for the sprocket to get the artifacts. What does my deck need right now? I think my deck needs damage. Turn on your blocks into iron waves. I think my deck needs damage, no? I mean, do we, we have a decent block. Let's get some damage. Let's try, let's try weaponize. It looks interesting. Let's try it out. Hey, Jack on Overwatch. Thanks for the follow, man. So, I know we should be lifting, but I also really want to do... Some of this stuff. So let's try this. Weaponize this explore options. Oh my god. That's cool. Plasma rifle and old flame for OP. Let's weaken him. The Valley and Black Major Bugs. Let's weaponize this. 
So not only is it a bomb, but it also does 9 damage. Hey, why not? That's fun. Okay. I'm getting so overwhelmed by the cards, gotta make sure that I'm not dying, right? Whoa, what is this? Apply one weak enemy chain. What? How does this work? How does this work? Do I just so if they're attacking, they make them not attack? That's weird. I want to try this. <laughs> Holy shit! What if I do this on the second turn of? Uh, what if I do this on the second turn of the Hexagos? Does he not do anything? This is a game fuel. We gotta try this, guys. We gotta try this. Let's try this out. Two trinkets. Oh my god. This is gonna be insane. Okay, let's, let's hope that we draw that. Just in case. He shits himself instead. Oh shit, let's find out. What? Why? Why would you ever use that? Oh my god. The debatement. I got debated. I got so debated. What a great card. What the hell? Okay. Wait, he put Burp. Not only. Not only did it. That's the worst thing I could have done. It put him into the... Oh my god. <sighs> That's fantastic. We love it. Let's do it. Let's get all these trinkets. <laughs> Use the, the next one. So that means the next one he's gonna do is gonna be even crazier. I don't know. That was crazy. Bombardment. Sure, why not? Attack. Um, I don't know about my control. Can absolutely mean change to a bigger attack. Well, now we know. Now we know. It's good to know. I think I'm fucked, but we'll find out. Gain some fuel. These burns are gonna hurt. Recycling station. More fuel. So we're gonna have a lot of fuel. You know, I didn't think about the fact that we have these trinkets giving us fuel. So plasma rifle is a good weapon. I mean, it's a good thing to take. I think plasma rifle is something I should be taking. I just want to see, is this going to make him attack me? No. My mind control is very, you know, again, this guy, is it's mad, he's a mad scientist. We didn't say he's a good scientist, he's a mad scientist. He has a lot of experimental gadgets. Keyword, experimental gadgets. Apparently we're going to cross the call the, the overgrown. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm curious to try these mats. How many different trinkets? Are, I don't know how many trinkets are there. Uh, so far, I've seen like the six different trinkets, or maybe seven different trinkets. I've seen a lot. Artifacts, fuel, and we're just getting all this fuel. So I didn't realize that these trinkets are giving me fuel. I could use plasma rifle. Uh, this, yeah, this hurts a little bit. You wish the artifact? Yeah, that'd be cool. Hide behind junk. I mean, hide behind junk is really good though. Let's make our... Well, let's just defense. Yeah, I'm gonna get my butt kicked with these burns. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's a weaker... Oh, it didn't really change much, it's just... I think this doesn't really work that well on bosses. Or maybe it's just that the card doesn't really work that well in general. I'm probably dead. I kinda wanna do this again. I definitely want to do this again, and, uh, alright, we lost. But I want to try this guy again, so, that was a learning lesson.